Here are three most important date functions of Excel. The first is eDate, which allows us to add or subtract months from a date. So I'm going to specify my start date, and then for the number of months, I can specify a positive or a negative number. I'll just put one in here and hit enter. That'll give us the same date in the next month. And this is great if you're calculating due dates for billing. The EO month function will give us the last day of the month. I'm going to specify a zero here to give us the last day of the current month, but you can use positive or negative numbers for future or previous months. One other little tip here is if you add a one to the end, that'll give you the first date of the next month. And if you get a result that looks like this, you just need to format it as a date. If you want to count the number of working days until your next vacation, Network Days is great for this. We specify the start date here, our vacation date, and then there's optional parameters to customize weekends and holidays, but we can leave those blank and hit enter. And you'll get your vacation days. Like and follow for daily tips.